was pop and hello i am back on pokemon showdown today i think this video will be going up after i have my first stream so if that's the case and you were there i hope you enjoyed it and there'll be plenty more streams happening in the near future as well also i recently got some affiliate links to a bunch of different things similar to how joey does and like samsung has a special offer right now that i have my own personal link for and it redirects you there so even just clicking the link will support me very much if y'all can do that it'd be much appreciated i'll put the link in the description and if you actually click reserve, you support me even more. It doesn't mean you have to buy anything, it just sends you an email when stuff becomes available. That's it. Just supports me a lot. Now, huge shout out to everyone that dropped a super thanks on the last video. It really makes me happy to see this kind of support. Many years ago, I would have never thought anything like this would be possible. But here we are today on the climb as well. So thank you all very much. Now, I'd like for you to leave a comment and tell me a Pokemon that can't currently evolve that deserves some kind of evolution the most. I'd like to know. And personally, I wouldn't want to give Sigilyph a regular evolution. I would want to give it a mega evolution. I think it would be more fitting for it, this kind of Pokemon. Or just leave a comment to support. I look forward to hearing from you all. As always, reading all your comments, as I usually do. And um, I'm rocking a Cosmic Power Psycho Shift Stored Power set. On request, of course, I've been asked to use this kind of set. And back in like Gen 5 Black and White, this set was probably like the most dangerous thing you could ever find. On the ladder, like, this thing was actually crazy. How good it was back then but i think even now it still has some potential and i definitely hope to show you guys that in this video how it works is we have flame orb and psycho shift which will spread burns it's like kind of think about it like a hundred percent will-o-wisp accuracy we have that status that will go on to the opponent and then we activate our flame orb all over again as long as we keep our item not get it knocked off or anything a uh, magic guard prevents us from taking damage from the burns so that's always nice and then we can't get put to sleep or anything or paralyzed which is even worse um, cosmic power boosting our defense in spadef um, this set here can sponge all kinds of special attacks because of the cosmic power and enough speed to outrun pokemon such as rillaboom and zapdos that set themselves to be one point faster than um, rillaboom then we have uh, store power so after we get the cosmic power boost store power will be doing more damage which is nice psycho shift burning things down and that's really useful versus dark types because store power would otherwise get uh, walled by it and then you weaken the attack as well which makes you even bulkier paired it with keldeo to destroy dark types though regardless because we want to be able to ensure that we can beat choice ben weavile titar etc which sigilyph has a problem with then we have garchomp sub sd garchomp is actually extremely dangerous and we have a chance to not get our sub broken by scald from things like slowbro which is very very annoying for those kinds of mods avoid toxic as well from landris and set up even more um, Grimmsnarl, nice bulk up with uh, three attacks, one of my signature uh, Grimmsnarl sets. Corviknight for Defog and Heatran for Rocks. And that is going to be the squad. Let's hop into our first game and you already know we're going to try to make this Pokemon put in the work. I really hope we do because uh, that would be nice. Now, first game here up against an OLT player. Looks like OLT is still going on. And Keldeo looks great in this matchup. I don't exactly know what they're going to lead with though. Grimmsnarl looks amazing as well. Garchomp looks pretty good. Kind of tempted to lead Heatran here. And they lead Bisharp, so this could be a potential lead Bisharp set. I definitely want to um, Magma Storm here is my play. And we do hit the Magma Storm and it's gone immediately. Now Blaziken is in. I'm just going to Earth Power here. They can close combat if they want. They just decide to set up. And so we weaken it quite a bit. Now, we do have priority Sucker Punch, which is great. Do we need to keep Heatran is the question. I think it's good to keep. Keldeo, actually looking at Keldeo now, I don't know if we need Keldeo as much, right? Because they have Kartana, Rillaboom, Dragapult. I think Keldeo is the weak link here, so I'm going to sack Keldeo. So they close combat here. And do they have Life Orb? They do have Life Orb. Okay. So... In that case, what we are going to do here is we are going to probably, we could go Grimmsnarl. I don't want to go Sigilyph because Sigilyph could still be useful somewhat. So let's go Grimmsnarl here and let's just, um, let's just Sucker Punch here and knock this out. So getting rid of this Pokemon is great. So two, I guess one really big threat gone and then the Stealth Rocker is gone as well. Hmm, this set here, I'm not sure what it's going to be doing versus us, but I think Heatran is the switch in right now. So it is going to be Swords Dance. Okay, very good to know that our Garchomp will be 
quite useful to deal with this mon. So we should probably, because if this is weakness policy, I think we just Magma Storm anyways. So they Shadow Sneak, and that's gone, nice. That's out of the way. Now I assume Dragapult comes in here. No, it's gonna be Rillaboom. In that case, we just Magma Storm again. The Superpower, we could probably, I wanna say, um, I wonder if we go Sigilyph. Cause I could go Corviknight, but then if they get a Swords Dance up, that could be really awkward. And I don't want to lose Corviknight when we, we have to deal with Kartana. Let's just try Sigilyph real quick. Let's Cosmic Power up here. I want to see what they decide to do. So they go, oh, they go Dragapult, okay. So let's Cosmic Power up, let's Psycho Shift here. I don't know if they're sub. Oh, nice, we burn it. Ooh, Psycho Shift, nice and burnt. Now let's Cosmic Power up some more. And then let's store power here. How much is this gonna do? Okay, nice and burnt. Let's cosmic power up on this on the phantom. I think we'll live this easily. Let's roost. Should be able to live this with ease. And I think Sigilyph has just cleaned up the three mons remaining, I believe. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, because I because they're burnt, right? And we have even attack. Like we're basically neutral at this point, which is really great. I don't know what their last move is though. But Sigilyph actually might just come through. That's crazy. Oh, that does way too much. <laughs> I roosted though, so that's good. And then um, they lose. Yeah, exactly. Let's go Sigilyph though. Ooh, like that did a lot of damage. That did so much damage, but we still survived <laughs> and came through in the end. That's crazy. Um, wow, okay, great. I just love it when the featured Mon puts in the work in the first game. That first game magic, you know? Always nice to see when that happens. Makes me happy, you know? Very first game itself. We got the forfeit to the Sigilyph. After the clean sweep of the half the team, the remaining half the team. Um, okay, we have here a Regieleki Coco squad. So here's what we're gonna do. It's probably like a Victini that lures in Garchomp or something with Glaciate or Final Gambit. And then puts in the work. It also could be Trick Ring Target. It's an option, maybe. Keldeo lead looks great. I'm going to immediately I'm actually gonna go I'm actually gonna go hard Sigilyph here on a close combat. No, they go Clef. Oh nice. Actually we get two uh cosmic power up. Psycho shift here. Let's uh psycho shift again. I wanna just psycho shift on anything that comes in. Alright, uh, here's I'm gonna roost now. Okay, we got the Coco now, nice. Let's go Heatran. That you turn out into what, or Shifu? Yep, Urshifu. Is this Bandit? I'm not sure. Uh, we go Corviknight anyways. This looks to be Bandit, so they can have that Mon. We get to go Keldeo here, and click Scald. And then Moonblast, Stealth Rocks. Let's Scald again. Taunt. So now, Heatran gets to come in. Let's get our Rocks up. I'm gonna see if I can win the game with, uh, with Garchomp. So this is Magic Guard. Garchomp could probably win this. We just gotta get rid of the Corviknight. So then this is back. We go, this time we go, um, so I think Grimmsnarl is very much needed. Let's go Sigilyph. The U-turn out, okay, cool. And then let's just roost here. And it lucky's in. We're gonna just uh, Psycho Shift here. So we burn it. Nice. Okay, that's good. Excellent start. Swords Dance up, and then Earthquake here. Knock out the... this thing. Although he got two hits off on me. This is a weaker Garchomp, but it, uh, it tanks things better. I would say. This is gonna have Dazzling Gleam, right? So we go into Heatran. No Grass? Oh, just Grass Knot? Okay. Uh, what do we do? Magma Storm. 
It's pretty much everything now. Like, they lost the Urshifu at this point, so it's looking great. Reggie Ileki is in. And dead. And this thing will get destroyed by Earth Power. Um, is that Specs damage? I don't know if that is. Who do I need to keep? I need to keep you around for sure. I think we've used up Sigilyph pretty well. So I'm going to sack. And then we get to go into... I think Heatran here, yeah. Although Victini is a problem. Let's go Chomp. Okay, on the Bolt Strike, nice. So they go Corviknight. They're probably going to U-turn here. I'm going to sub. They Body Press. Oh, shoot. Look at that, though. How much is this doing? Ooh, that's crazy. Although I don't think I beat this 1v1. In which case, I think all I need to do... I think all I need to do is go Grimmsnarl to bulk up. And if I do that, we're pretty much set. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's just use up Garchomp as much as we can. Because I think we just win with uh, Grimmsnarl anyways. Uh, we scale shot here. Beautiful. And scale shot here. Beautiful, twice. See, that's what I that's what I wanted to see before. Um, so we're gonna go Grimmsnarl and bulk up here. We should get enough bulk ups. Sucker punch here. And dead. Clef should hopefully die with a spirit break. Not quite, but it should on the next turn. And dead. And last is Corviknight, and we win the game because we should be faster. Good game, good game. So we came through in this one, a little bit trickier game, but we got, we got to spread some psycho shifts that were really helpful, like dealing with the um, the Coco and stuff like that. So that was pretty fun to see some of the psycho shifts going on in that one. So let's go on to the next one and see what we can do uh, here. Okay, another OLT user. Everyone has like these like cool looking uh, avatars on them. Alright, so here, what, what do we do? We probably lead Heatran, and then just immediate taunt, I think, is our play. Immediate taunt, and then they try to trick a sticky barb, I think is what it is. Let's get rocks up here, and then go into Sigilyph. And then we can, um, so the cool thing is that if we get tricked a sticky barb on Sigilyph, we actually don't lose um, health each turn. So we burned this thing, that's great. We can now, um, I, I guess Heatran is fine. They Voltage out. So they keep taking Chip now, which is amazing. They go Melmetal here. We can easily go uh, Corviknight, I think, is what we do. Yeah, that's good. Let's just Body Press here for some damage. Hit the Torn, it might have Heat Wave. It might not, let's go back to Heatran. They knock off, okay, that's fine. Let's Magma Storm here. All right, fair enough. Cosmic Power up. And so actually we should be able to beat Rotom 1v1. Let's Cosmic Power again. They Volt, and that does literally nothing. <laughs> this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing right here. Okay, this is really good. So Mel Metal is in. We're going to Psycho Shift this and burn it. It should not be doing much damage now. Oh my god, there's nothing. Yo, Sigilyph sweep! Yo, why do you post a ZZZ? <laughs> Yo, let's go! <laughs> let's go! Ah, Sigilyph sweep an OLT player, put him to sleep, put that boy to bed. <laughs> ah, crazy! What a fi what a fire, fantastic game right there! Absolutely fire! Um, you love to see that kind of stuff happen in the games. Ah, oh. okay, okay, nice. Let's okay. Let's continue on. Good stuff. Good stuff from the Mon here. That's crazy. Okay, Sigilyph sweep in that game. And it was like, it was like ZZZ. <laughs> okay, now we have here a much tougher team for Sigilyph, but I think still a solid, I mean, I think it's a solid team for Keldeo. 
In particular, they don't have a great switch in to either of our main moves. Tempted to lead with, um, you'll need Kelio. I think the immediate Sacred Sword is what is called for. Try to get damage on anything. I could also Scald as well, but I'm just going to attack what's in front of me right now. So they go Landris, and then we just Scald here. Um, or we go Corviknight. Just so that they don't know what we are just yet. And now here... Corviknight actually looks amazing on this matchup too. Let's Roost. Yeah, Corviknight looks great. They have to go Reggie Alecki, and then we just go Garchomp every time. We, we never stay in. Even if they want to keep doubling, you know, it, it's still fine. I might even just go Heatran here, actually. Yeah, this is great. Let's uh, Magma Storm this. If they want to attack, that's fine. Yeah, we get rid of Rillaboom. That's amazing. Oh, shoot. That's great. Fantastic. That's, that just opens up a lot for us right now. I can't believe we got two games with Sigiliv already, like, sweeping a team. Like, an actual 6-0 with Sigiliv. Like, a sweep. Sweep. Um, Tyranitar, I don't exactly know what you're gonna do. However, I do believe that Keldeo is my switch in right now. Let's get up rocks. Let's just attack what's in front of us. And they go Zapdos. Uh, you could be Scarfed. You could definitely be Scarfed. I'm gonna go Heatran here. Maybe getting up my own rocks will be nice at some point, but not right now. So they U-turn out. One good piece of information is that Tyranitar is Stealth Rocks and not Choice Ben, which means we possibly could overwhelm with Sigilyph. Possibly. I'm um, gonna go Garchomp here. The Thunderbolt doesn't work. And then we just... Um, we don't set up here or anything like that. We go Keldeo. So we make the double on him. Now we Scald here for free, pretty much. This is knockoff, so this is a not a good reason to go... Um, yeah, it's dead. Not a good reason to go Stigilyph or anything on it, but I think all the knockoff users are gone now, which means that that's going to be great. What do we not need? We don't need Heatran right here, so we're going to go into that. I see Brave Birds. Looks to be Scarfed. Um, this is an easy Corviknight and a Defog here. Yep, as the Melmetal comes in, and then... Versus you, I guess just body press. He does have thunder punch, which I think this is just a regular, regular set. And the Zapdos being this weak means that we could probably just destroy it with Garchomp's rough skin. So this is a roost. They superpower, now they're weaker, so we get to roost again. And then Eleki comes in. We just, uh, I mean, we go Garchomp every time. Tyranitar's in now, and we just, uh, I don't know if he has Ice Beam on this thing or not. I'm going to sub just to find out. Nice little sub here, because I know I can't Oko it. Disconnection? Yo. Come on now. We can't be, uh, we can't be allowing that. Alright, so I guess this guy's gone. And I don't think he's coming back. But... I mean, I think our team just handled this this thing really well, like... I feel like it just gets ripped apart by, like, one thing or another. Corviknight, for one, um, and if they have a ground type, you know. It's basically over for Regieleki. I don't see really many ground lures. Like, Rillaboom's a great ground destroyer, but it's not a lure. Oh, they're back. Okay, nice. If this has Ice Beam, then I'm pretty sure it's a good lure. Let's see what, let's see what it has. Yeah, it's okay. So then there you go. So that's going to be like the ground lure probably. So we're going to definitely switch out here into Keldeo. And then um, this would be a secret sword. And then the ground lure is dead. Now Eleki's back. I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to do that this time. Um, and now we don't need Grimmsnarl anymore. I really want to see if I could Psycho Shift if possible. So I'm actually gonna cosmic power here first. Let's just let's just have a little fun with this mon real quick. Have a little fun with it. Um, my play now is to so if that did that much, I'm gonna 
cycle shift here. I just want to see if I if I live potentially. Uh, not enough. That's okay. <laughs> that is okay. Because now we just win the game. Uh, we go Keldeo. We just Scald here. But I got to at least see a little bit of it, you know, just, just to throw it out there. And then we just Scald here. This is, of course, going to be Choice Scarfed. And then we go Corviknight. We click Body Press. Perfect, perfect. They could double if they want to, but that's not going to stop me, really. Yeah, that's fine. They, they can't even knock me out in one hit, so... We go back to Corv. Close Combat does nothing. Uh, we just Body Press here, and win the game. Yep. So, good game. I made it closer just by fooling around a little with the uh, Sigil Lift there, but... All is good. All is well that ends well, as the saying goes. Excellent. Good game. Very nice, very solid game right there. And yeah, I mean, I'm just really happy we got two Sigil Lift, or I guess one Sigil Lift cleanup, one Sigil Lift full on sweep, and thumbnail text to go with it. Excellent. This mod really kind of reminds me of Zatu. I don't know why. Psychic Flying, it just really reminds me of like an ancestor of Zatu or something. Because it kind of has like, the, it's like a bird, right? It has the wings and everything. The sigil and Zatu kind of like predicts the future or like forecasts or whatever. Uh, this guy beat me while testing by Haxing, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. Um, If I'm remembering correctly, that is. But anyways, I think with this team in particular, it looks very offensive. Very offensive team. They only leave Keldeo. And they leave Torn, so I don't know exactly what this is going to do. I'm going to go Heatran here. As they knock. And then we get a Magma Storm right now, which is pretty good. You turn out into what? Like, Magma Storm is going to hurt. Alright, please hit. Please hit. Please hit. Okay, great. And dead Excadrill is dead. So that's great. Um, Ninetales is in, so this is also dead too. Aurora Veil. So we get some good chip. I, I think we get up rocks here. Because if he puts me to sleep, then he just stalls out. Oh, come on. This is exactly what happened before. Froze my Mon. Or somebody did. That's insane. Okay, there we go. So yeah, Encore's me. So I couldn't even get my rocks up, which is what I wanted to do. But that's okay. Um, in any case, so Blacephalon is in. We have Grimmsnarl that actually beats Blacephalon. We also have Keldeo, which is faster than it. Keldeo is actually faster than it. Ooh, okay, so let's just... um, Let's Calm Mind up here. I think Calm Mind is definitely the play. Shadow Ball is 50. That's crazy. Okay, let's Scald. We have Soccer Punch in the back, so we're okay. So we got some nice damage. Weakness policy. Ooh, and a speed boost too. That is pretty wild, I must say. He probably has stored power. Ooh, that's crazy. So I think Heatran does get knocked out by a Shadow Ball at this range. And then... Hmm. I think we go Grimstone and Sucker Punch. And what do they do? They have sub. Oh no. Oh no. So we have to go Heatran then. Pray that we can survive. They got a speed boost, so it has to be a speed boosting set. That doesn't even live. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't even think they'd have. Ooh! Ooh! Nice. Okay, so it was enough to take out Heatran, but not enough to take out Chomp. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. So that's the that's the magic of this Garchomp CV spread. It just survived <laughs> the Blacephalon. Oh, that's insane. Okay, great. Okay, so now we just Earthquake here for damage. Um, 
we definitely go into Corviknight here and body press. Is what we do. So uh, we don't see life orb. We have to just knock this out right now. So it's a speed boosting set. I mean, this won't do much damage. Nice. So that's gone. And then Dragapult. So that, that Blissephalon was crazy scary. Okay. Um, knock off U-turn. I don't know if it is Heat Wave or not. We go Grimmsnarl here for sure, I think. They have Flamethrower. We Darkest Lariat here. Or I think Spirit Break to weaken the special attack of Torn. But I also think a Darkest plus a uh, Sucker but might knock this out. This does 48, okay? And then we would, what? I think go Sigilyph here. And then Psycho Shift is our play now. Nice. So we burnt it. I think we can Cosmic Power up here. We could probably do what we did to the other guy. Oh, nice. Okay, so they did that. Uh, we don't live this one, unfortunately, but Sucker Punch probably knocks this out. So we can do that. They go Dragapult. Um, we just Darkest again. And nice and dead. And so now we win the game with Corviknight plus this. Yep, good game. Good game! Okay, so nice. Um... That was a really scary Blissephalon set, and I thought I lost that game right then and there. Like, that was insane how uh, dangerous that set is behind screens with weakness policy. So I guess it wasn't Stored Power then, because I, I assume that it would be Calm Mind, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, and Stored Power. I mean, if you're getting Calm Mind boost, weakness policy boost, and a speed boost, Stored Power would make a lot of sense as that last move. I did not expect it to be sub, but yeah, because like Stored Power could probably break through like everything else, right? Like, I don't know. Um, but sub is really good too. It was great for the sucker punches. Okay, nice. So let's continue on. Maybe get like a few more for this one. We'll be, we'll be good. But I mean, look, the power of these EV spreads is far beyond the comprehension, the, just the understanding of the world. Pokemon like that living plus three plus Cephalon is crazy. Oh, I faced this guy before. Many a time. I wonder if the Sigilyph will be enough to put in the work. Probably looking like we could lead Heatran here. And, um... Magma Storm and then throw some... Okay, throw some rocks up here. Oh, that's good. Get rocks back up now. Very good damage. Rotom is in, and... Obviously, it's going to be an issue, but that has... The, the, so, the Torn has Defog. The Torn's the one with the Defog on it. Keldeo looks really good in this matchup. Don't really know who to go into. I'm, I'll just go Keldeo anyways, and just Secret Sword this thing. Just get a lot of chip on this Pokemon is really what we want to do. Torn is in. We're going to go um, for the Scald, and then for the Heatran switch again, and then the Rocks. So Rotom is back, and then we're just going to go Keldeo once again, and probably just Scald this time. Or maybe Secret Sword again. Yeah, Secret Sword again. Yep. So we got a lot of damage on the Rotom now. That's really, really good. It opens up a lot for us. Opens up quite a bit. Applying that nice pressure. We're going to go Heatran, and we're going to click Taunt here. Nice. Hippo's in now. Another Magma Storm dodge. 85 or 75 accuracy. His moves are like terrible. But this is a Sigilyph switch right now. And then we get to Cosmic Power Up. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is good. This is really good. Hold up. Hold up just a second here. Mel Metal's in now. We get to Psycho Shift this. Burn it. That's amazing. Double Iron Bash doing literally nothing. Uh, Cosmic Power again is the play. And then Roost. Do we actually sweep? I'm not sure. Let's, uh, okay, so he's gonna knock off to prevent me from burning anything else. That's fine, I guess. So let's store power here. Rotom is dead. Clef is in now. We, uh, causing power up here. Aromatherapy. Okay, so he does heal himself, though, which is fine. 
Uh, but I don't think Melmetal's gonna be doing much damage to me. If I Psycho Shift, then he can T-Wave, but I can Psycho Shift again, <laughs> which is fine. Um, let's just burn this thing. Okay, so he just does that. Oh, so then I can't Psycho Shift anything else. I see. That's a good play. That was a very good play. I should have just stored Powered. But if he Aromatherapies, then, you know... Actually, no, this is fine. This is actually really fine. Yeah, this is, this is great. Let's Cosmic Power up again. And then Stored Power here. This should knock it out. Come on, come on. This That would have actually knocked it out. And now he drops my thing again. Which means I can't knock it out here. Like, dude. <laughs> Such hacks. Yep. We would have actually knocked out the clef, so he had to like hacks his way through. But it's okay, I think because we have op yeah, we have some options. <sighs> if I can crit one of them, that'd be great. Can I crit this one please? Not quite. Um It's annoying. I'll just I guess I'll just stay and let him keep spamming his attack. Maybe I'll psycho shift on one of the turns. I just gotta call the right turn. Yeah. And he's like, he, he's critting his moves, but I'm not critting mine. Like, that's crazy. That is crazy. This would have been a, a sweep if it, if we knocked out this clef. He's uh, running out of Moonblast though, which is great. I'll roost here. Beautiful. Not doing much now. I wonder if I oh if would Psycho Shift actually paralyze this thing? That'd be actually funny if it does. Um, that would be that would be actually really funny if it did. So he's just gonna turn here. I could have paralyzed this thing too, and then we'd have had to heal himself and everything, and I could just reset everything all over again. Again, paralyzed. So we Psycho Shift this at least. So yeah, this guy's just hacking all over. Um, but it's okay, it's okay, you know? I, I say this now, but I know at the end of the day we can win. We will win at the end of the day. Um, so our plan right now would be to go Sigilift so we could paralyze something else. Okay, so Torn is in. Let's just set up here. Let's do it again. All we gotta do is do it again. And if you could keep hacking me all you want. Um, Double Iron Bash is actually gonna be faster. We're gonna go Heat Train here. Seems like the play. Or we could go um, Corviknight. Yeah, and then Roost. Or we defog here. Seems great. I don't mind getting my shed shell knocked off. You're not trapping me with anything. And then let's brave bird here. Ah, so he gave me the sticky barb that way. Ah, that's pretty cool. That is fine. Let's switch out here in the sigilif, which he can't touch us or anything. Anyways. Set up some more. He has uh, six moon blasts left. Look at this. He keeps critting every single turn. That's crazy. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. I can still win this. I can still win this. Really booms in now. We cycle shift this. Please paralyze and work. Thank you. And then he can't knock off for a lot, a lot of damage or anything like that. Get paralyzed? Okay, no. Never mind. That's good. <laughs> okay, Sigil have come through. It's annoying when you keep getting paralyzed over and over and over again. Um, Cosmic power up. He has three of them left. And then let's roost here. Two of them left. And then one of them left. And then he's out. So let's just roost to a good amount of health. And then, how much is stored power doing? Let's see. Oh, that's good damage. I like it. Cosmic power on the protect. 
Yep, there we go. Sword power again. And then... Yep, and then store power again. <laughs> That's how we do it, you know? That's how we do it. We weaken this Mel Metal, and I think we can just win. Torn is in. We just store power here. I think we can 2-hit KO the Clef now. We only have two left, but, I mean, we've used it up pretty well. Um, gonna store power. Yep, called it. See, this is how you outplay, like, these kind of stuff. Um, I only have one left now, so... I'm just gonna roost here. Thunder Waves, that's fine. Let's just keep this thing staying in. I have nothing to lose right now with this thing. We're gonna keep six Cosmic Powers left. And then we're gonna go Garchomp here. And then we're going to sub. And then we're gonna sub again and win the game, I think, from this point on. So let's Swords Dance up. And then Earthquake is the play. Earthquake again. Even Scale Shot is another play, but I'll Earthquake. Torn is going to confuse me, right? And hurt me in confusion, so we don't want that. But either way, we can still just Scale Shot here. He didn't hurt me. Nice. Ah, I was expecting to get hurt in confusion. Okay, then we go into... um. How do we win this game? We go... This Rillaboom is going to be still a problem. Corviknight. Brave Bird this. He's going to bank on Paralysis, but we're not going to let that happen. Brave Bird, please. Knock it out. Yep. That's how he wins. Brave Bird, please. <laughs> oh, my lord. Psycho Shift. Yeah, come on, dude. That's so dumb. Oh, nice. Actually. 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 I think we can win this game. He just choked. Okay, so he gave me the game. Good game. <laughs> ah, see that game was like, I should have won that game a long time ago. Um, if none of that paralysis stuff happened, but it did, unfortunately. And uh, I mean, I, I mean, it's just a game we play. Like, you know, I, I'm used to it by now. Uh, it's just that like for me, I just want the featured mod to put in the work. Like that's all I care about, right? And if there's something like that, like, you know, outside factor that I can't control stopping me from doing that, that's when like, you know, I, I'm like, Come on, come on, like, but I love that game so much. And I'm, you know, I'm never, I'm never mad at the opponent, never mad at the opponent for, for hacks. It's always just the game itself. But I love this game so much because Sigilif carried so hard. Like, this game was incredible. One of the best Sigilif games I've ever had uh, was this one. So I'm really happy it did, like, all the work in this game, pretty much. And um, shout out to my opponent for, for uh, you know, allowing that to happen with the team that they brought. I mean, I think Sigilif was just an amazing matchup for that game. Um, so, appreciate you. I know they watch my channel as well, so, you know, shoutouts to you. But I think that's a great spot to end this video off with a nice and clean, well, not so clean, but clean, <laughs> Sigilyph game. And like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments a Pokemon that currently cannot evolve, does not evolve, that deserves some kind of evolution, either regular or mega, I'd like to know. Um, look forward to hearing from you all as always. Thank you all for the support, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.